Hi everyone, today we are going to solve the little code question, car fleet. So there are n cars going to the same direction along a one lane road. The destination is target miles away. So you are given two integer array at the position and speed, the both of length n, where position i is the position of the ice car and the speed i is the speed of ice car. So a car can never pass another car ahead of it, but it can catch up to it and uh, drive bum uh, bumper to bumper at the same speed. The faster car will slow down to match the slower car speed. The destination between these cars is ignored. So that means like a, so there is a two car moving in the same direction. And uh, let's say this car is uh, going with like a three miles power and the speed of this car let's say uh, like a 20 miles per hour. So in the end, this car will catch up to the this car. In that case, uh, these two car moving in the same direction with the same speed, like uh, three miles per hour and three miles per hour, because uh, these two cars are moving like uh, on the one lane road. So faster car never pass another car ahead of it. And uh, we call it, this is a car fleet. Um, and the important thing that single car is also car fleet. So we need to return the number of car fleet that will arrive at the destination. So yeah, this is a little bit complicated problem, but once you understand the question exactly, I think uh, uh, this is not difficult. So let me explain how to solve this question. Okay, so let's think about the question with visualization. So first of all, I create a position and the speed combination of all cars and sort the car with the descending order of position. So now A is 10, B is 8, C is 5. And uh, all, car, so all cars are going in the same direction and try to reach the goal 16. So every time A move 2, B move 4, C move 1, so let's begin. So A move 2 here and B move 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And C move 1 here. So now B catch to the A. In that case, speed of B is now 2 because the description said faster car will slow down to match the slower car's speed. So A and B are now car fleet moving two every time. And uh, let's continue. So move two. Okay, A, B. And uh, C, move one. And uh, again, A, B, move two. So A and B. So now A and B reach the goal, and the rest of car is only C. So every time C move one by one, and in the end, C reach the goal, 16. And also C is a single car, but a single car is also one of a car fleet. So in that case, number of car fleet is two. But in reality, uh, it's hard to move all cars in program uh, at the same time because we are not sure uh, how many cars are in the input array. So how can we check the number of car fleets? So well, um, we use a stack to solve this question. So let me show you how. Okay, so let me explain with the same example. So actually we can uh, calculate the time to reach the target. So target minus uh, position divide speed. So how about A? So 16 minus 10 is 6 divide 2. So A needs uh, 3 minutes. So let's say minutes. So A needs 3 minutes to reach the target. So how about B? 16 minus 8 and 8 divide 4. So B needs 2 minutes to reach the target. And how about C? 16 minus 5, 11 divide 1. So C needs 11 minutes to reach the target. So every time um, I iterate through all cars, like one by one, from a near um, target position. So in this case, like a 10, 
uh, B A B C, and uh, every time uh, I calculate the time uh, with this formula, and then check the stack, and uh, if um, stack doesn't have any data, or the latest data in stack is less than current minutes, in that case, um, current car will never catch up to the previous like car fleet. So current car uh, will be one of our car fleet. So like, uh, let's say, so there is two car and uh, moving in the right direction. And uh, let's say this car needs like three minutes to reach the target. And uh, this car needs five minutes to reach the target. So in this case, this car will never catch up to the this car because uh, this car is slower than uh, this car. So, it, so in the case, uh, this car will be uh, like one of a car fleet. So it's obvious. So let's begin. So first of all, three, uh, A needs three minutes and uh, check the stack. And the stack doesn't have any uh, data in the case. So this A is uh, one of a car fleets. So three, I put three into stack. So how about B? So B needs two minutes to reach the target. and. Uh, now stack has data, so check the latest data in stack three minutes, and B needs two minutes. So B will catch up to A. So in that case, I don't put uh, two into stack. So three is a uh, uh, like a one of, still one of a, a car fleet because uh, so B will catch up to A. So in that case, A and B uh, now uh, the same car fleet. So in that case, uh, yeah, three is uh, still one of car fleets. So how about uh, C? So C needs 11 minutes. So check the latest data in stack. In that case, uh, this AB car fleet needs like three minutes to reach the target. And uh, C will never catch up to like AB car fleet because uh, C is uh, slower than this car fleet. So in that case, uh, C will be uh, one of the car fleets. So that's why I put 11 to stack. And then there is no car here. So after that, uh, so length of stack should be a number of uh, car fleets, right? Because uh, three, so three is for this car fleet and uh, 11 is for like a C, so single car is also a one of a car fleet. So, so this is car fleet, and this is car fleet. So, uh, overall we get uh, two car fleet. So that's why our length of stack should be a number of uh, car fleets. It's obvious. So that is a basic idea to solve this question. So with that being said, let's jump into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, to create cars, equal, and create a, like a position and a speed combination. So position and the speed for P, S in, I use zip. So zip enable us to take elements uh, from the multiple list at the same time. So zip uh, position and the speed and uh, initialize stack with empty array and uh, start iterating for position and uh, speed in uh, sorted and uh, cars. But uh, this is uh, ascending order, so uh, we have to iterate through from the last. In that case, uh, I write like this, colon colon, uh, colon, colon minus one. This is a reverse loop. So, and uh, first of all, uh, calculate time with uh, a formula. So time taken equal target minus position divide speed. And then if not stuck or time taken, current time is greater than the latest data in stack, so stack minus one. In that case, current time taken will be a one of a car fleet. So in that case, so stack 
append time taken and then after that return length of stack yeah actually that's it so let me submit it yeah looks good this solution works and the uh, time complexity of this solution should be a uh, order of n log n because uh, we sorted the cards here so that is uh, like a n, n log n time complexity and uh, also uh, space complexity is uh, i think order of n linear time because uh, i use stack and uh, potentially i have to uh, put the all time taken into a stack so that should be like order of n so let me summarize step-by-step -step algorithm this is a step-by-step -step algorithm of car fleet step one create a position and the speed combination of all cars and the initialize stack step two sort all cars and iterate from the last in each iteration calculate time to reach the target with target minus position divide speed step three if stack is empty or time of current car is more time taken than the last time in stack the current car become a new car fleet add current time to stack step four return length of stack yeah that's it i hope this video helps you understand this question well if you like it please subscribe the channel hit the like button or leave your comment i'll see you in the next question